All right, so we're going to call the uh, meeting to order. Um, Hadley Board of Health, welcome to everyone. Those here and those online. Uh, has anybody had a chance? Have you had a chance to review the previous minutes? Yeah, they looked good to me. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a motion to accept. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A second. Okay. All those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Good. Okay. Unanimously. All right. We're going to go to the report from uh, the health inspector, Ben. Yep. So this one, I from the last time we did the meeting, I took some time off also for vacation. So there's not much that happened from the last meeting until now. So uh, I'll just reiterate, you know, what it what what I said before. We're looking on trying to bring in some uh, uh, outside inspectors into town. That should start in the next week or so. I have a meeting right. with, uh, with this coming uh, actually tomorrow. So uh, so hopefully they'll get started soon. That's really the only big bullet point. Other than that, it's just the usual work, you know daily work type of thing. Uh, and uh, we've been working on the budget too, which we will talk about in in a you know uh, okay. soon. Well, I'll leave it at that. That's about it for me. Well, the Board of Health thanks you for all of your hard work. Then. Yes. Uh, Marcy, report from the town nurse. Um, let's see. Um, we have, um, <laughs> I mean, it's the usual things that are kind of there. And uh, this month um, is uh, um, Mental Health Month. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be having a discussion group um, and, right. and, and on the tenth. And you, then next month is is going to be women and uh, heart disease. Yeah. Are you feeling as though you're interacting with many of the people who come to the senior center? I feel like I'm interacting with many many people, right. and I feel like the reason why people are coming to me has broadened. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. That's okay. wonderful. Excellent. That's exactly what we were looking That's for. That's what we were looking for. Yeah. Thank you, Marcy, for all of your hard work. Uh, budget proposal review? Or, right. Peter, do you want to do <clears throat> something before then? Or what What order do you suggest a re report from Peter and budget proposal review? Let's, let's do the budget first. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, what I'm passing on is okay. a spreadsheet. That is in a form that came to us from our treasurer. One sheet. <laughs> yes, one okay. sheet. Thank you. So, yeah, so, so it's one sheet. So the deliverable is that um, this spreadsheet in a final draft form goes to our treasurer and Carolyn tomorrow. Okay. Uh, ben and I have been working on this for whatever the last couple of weeks. We've made some changes as the weeks have gone on. Um, what's important on this particular spreadsheet is the column uh, second from the right end. It's uh, the fiscal year 2025 request mm -hmm. versus two columns over to the left, if you will, the fiscal year 2024 voted. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the town voted on the fiscal 2024 um, budget after all the departments and the boards had submitted theirs to Linda, uh, Linda Sanderson and to Carolyn. Carolyn then proceeds to present the the bits and pieces, if you will, to the finance committee, and then eventually the select board. And then at town meeting, it gets voted on, if you will. Mm -hmm. So just I pointed out those two columns only from a comparison viewpoint. Um, so again, this is to be delivered tomorrow along with the narrative. I'll pass out the narrative in a minute um, so that you're not reading two documents at the same time. Um, in terms of the wages, um, we were instructed not to assume what the cost of living increase is going to be right. for the coal, because Jane's sitting there with a big pile of money, and we just don't know. <laughs> we just don't know how big it is. So, uh, so we've been told not to uh, right. do anything. So, clerical services starting uh, from the top, going to the bottom, in the fiscal year twenty twenty five column, 
Um, that's me. Um, so uh, again, no change there. Salary Board of Health, again, you guys no longer make the big bucks. So we're going to ask Linda to close out that account. Um, but there's, there's no point uh, having right. money in there. Um, health agent director, that's Ben. Uh, nurse, I'm going to skip for a minute. Uh, animal inspector, um, that is obviously Dragon. Um, well, let's hold off on that as well. Uh, burial uh, certificate stipend, that is our town clerk, who again handles all the death certificate work. And you guys last uh, meeting had voted mm -hmm. her uh, an increase, mm -hmm. which she did receive uh, payment last week. Um, the next line, inspection slash mosquito. What's ended up in this uh, <clears throat> on this line is um, not only inspections for um, Title V activity, so essentially Kevin, but there's also a mosquito bill that we get once a year for five thousand right. dollars. Yeah. I'm not really sure what that is. It's, it's we control, pay the mosquito the control district. That yeah. committee's dead now. We aren't going to get that. No. Well. Well, I don't know. There's still like, the Pioneer Valley Con Mosquito Control District. It's there. And we still pay into that? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So right. the town committee is different from the state. All right. Yeah. Regional. Yeah. They do trapping and okay. yeah, yeah. monitoring. Yeah. And we get testing. reports from them all the time. Yeah. Good question, though, Jay. So, yes. so we are going to, uh, I'm going to ask Linda tomorrow, <clears throat> Linda Sanderson tomorrow, if she can have two separate lines for yeah. us, one for inspections and one yeah. for mosquitoes. Now, what we're doing on that line, if you look at 24 versus 25, what we're doing is we're eliminating the expense that's associated with Kevin doing the Title V right. inspections and perks, all that, with the exception of $1,000. So Ben is taking that over because he's been trained. He's gone to right. protest training and so on and so forth. But we're going to leave $1,000 in there in the event that Ben needs to, mm -hmm. if you will, escalate a question or an issue to somebody that's been doing it for like you know 30 yeah. years or if he's on vacation or whatever right. yeah. yeah so so that's our proposal there um next line down um legal notices um we put in six hundred dollars there only from the viewpoint that um we had to have a we had to post a legal notice in the local paper like four or five months ago with regards to a housing right legal situation. So we want to put some money in there. Uh, software maintenance, that's permit link. Uh, they charge us $2,000 a year for uh, support and any upgrades that they make to the application. Mm -hmm. uh, trainings and meetings, it is, that's pretty much been, we wanted to put some money in there. Yes. Um, as you can see so far through the end of November, we spent $2,300. We mm -hmm. only had $1,000 in the uh, Right in the budget, so we bumped that up to three thousand office supplies and two hundred bucks. It's stickies and paper, uh, basically. Uh, community health, um, we reduced that from six thousand to twenty five hundred because we've never really spent any money from that bucket, and I'm not, not even really sure what that is. But so far, we've spent what's been charged here is three hundred eighty dollars. Again, I don't know where that came from, but so we're proposing to reduce the budget to 2,500. And, and if you look at the year before, fiscal year 2023, we spent $556. So Ben and I are both thinking that $2,500 should cover a $600 expense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me keep going. Mileage and allowance, uh, we kept $100 in there in case Ben travels really far and yeah, you know, needs to charge allowance. Um, dues, um, uh, we have uh, five hundred dollars in the budget this year. Uh, we've knocked that down to three hundred. Again, Ben kind of has a feel for what his dues is going to be in terms of any associations that he needs to belong to. Um, any questions before we go into the nurse line? 
community or any, or any comments. Yeah, the comment would mostly be the community health program slash needs. Um, yep. that, I mean, that was supposed to cover water testing if we need that for blue algae. Um, that's when we had the partnership with uh, the Friends of Lake Warner. Right. Um, we're doing that. And then the just the concept around that would be to assist, which we haven't had a, a regular nurse in that position for a couple of years, which is challenging. But the rationale between with that was also to be able to support the, the town nurse with being able to do programs here at the senior center or the library or other areas in town to be able to give that capacity. So that that's just the background with that. But and the was, other the other thing is we should keep some money in there in case the bookshed need need any kind of repair or work. So keep six thousand in there or twenty five hundred. Because again, we we've never spent any, yeah. Can we compromise like thirty five hundred? I mean, what do you well, think? Well, what I would think anyway is I I think the salary for the town for the nurse similarly to. Um, Ben's position as the director and yours, like we're not thinking about COLA increases for those being a fixed part of our budget. Um, so I think if we kind of take that away, 2,500 could be fine in terms of that. Um, I think especially as federal and state grant funding are not around as much as they were previously. Um, so I could be okay with that, I guess. Well, what do you think? I, well, can you say how much the mosquito um, control yeah, the pilot like, cost? I don't know. I don't have that line. I I haven't seen that in quite a bit of time. It, it's the last bill was five thousand dollars. Yeah, we we the town has to pay into that, right? Yeah. So and that's and that's baked in there. Okay, it, it, and it, so so then the <clears throat> friends of Lake Warner and the water testing and. So that was for like blue green algae right. and, and for any public like waterways. The challenge with this year is we weren't able to um, engage successfully with their point person to get that program going this year. Um, Dragon, yeah. do you want did did you want to uh, follow up with me about that after, and we can look at see what they're you know uh, what what you're what you're thinking of as far as like uh, costs goes, and then I can reach out yeah. to them and. See what their yeah. what an updated you know uh, what 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 updated pricing there is. Would you would you like to you know follow up after meeting related to that? Yeah, I can look at my notes and we can get together on that. I think that's a great idea. Cool. Perfect. So, we're good. Do, do you want to change that twenty five hundred to something else, or do you want to have an no. offline conversation with Ben? About I think. Why don't I, if it's okay with the other members on the committee? Why don't I connect with Ben? I don't know what your availability is tomorrow, Ben. I know that's short notice, but um, I'm just thinking that that the other meeting about the budget is happening tomorrow, so that's why I just want to be timely about our conversation with it. Um, I have I have that meeting in the early afternoon. Uh, okay. uh, talk about but later afternoon i'm available or if you want to do it in the morning i'm available too just text me after the meeting and we'll figure something out yeah we'll make it work cool okay, so, <clears throat> so the two two uh, items that we need to and dragon you can you work with ben and finalize yeah. that item that sounds good good so the two items that we need to talk about or then i guess you the board needs to talk about um and it's baked into this budget narrative, which also just again, Karen, is uh, number one, um, an increase in hours for Marcy. Mm -hmm. So um, Ben had a conversation, I believe, with you yesterday with regards to increasing your hours based on feedback you've received from the senior center and NIPI. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is we've baked in um, uh, an additional four hours a week. So currently you're in the budget for six hours a week. Mm -hmm. So we've budgeted 10 hours mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could share with everybody what the additional, not to put you on the spot. Is, is that reasonable for you? That was my request. Oh, look, good. I just want to, yeah, I just want to make that sure. That was my request. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki, okay. Nikki went a little farther, but I did, I didn't. I was just like, okay. okay. 
Yeah. So if you, could if you share, want to speak to that, yeah, if you just share to let us, us know what you're thinking, you know, kinds yeah. of uh, how the, you know, was it more programming? Yeah. Or days is softer. It's both. It would be both. I, my idea was to have some kind of an educational forum and it could be here. It could be at other places in Hadley, which I haven't done, which I'd like to do. Um, on a weekly basis, I wanted it to be something that was kind of starting to build into the That's great the center, and um and the the topics are are pretty endless for what mm -hmm. we could discuss, and then the other uh, other aspect would be not only would there be additional hours to do that and prepare for it on week you know every week, but also the presence wouldn't be just on a Tuesday and a Wednesday morning for three hours. It would be right. additional morning mm -hmm. that there would be a presence. So, um, sounds uh, sounds great right to me. So, so I, so you, I see everybody nodding. You guys are okay with that. Cause again, yeah. this is going yes. to Carol tomorrow. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And so we need to be able to talk. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank Martha. you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And then going back to our, just to let, if this happens, it doesn't start till July. I, okay. I realize okay. I, okay. <laughs> that was that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a hard one to get though. <laughs> it's tough. And then, then the other line item is going back to our uh, beloved animal inspector. So um, currently, um, her stipend is a thousand dollars a year. Um, we uh, yeah, there's been conversation, and I know we discussed this at a previous meeting in terms of. Um, you know, is that really a fair stipend? And so, uh, so um, Dragon has provided uh, to us uh, moments ago, you know, the number of hours that she puts in, you know, there's a band of 150 to whatever, 250 hours a year. So $1,000, as you do the math, you know, we're talking below minimum wage. Yeah. So what Ben and I did is just as a placeholder, we uh, uh, put in two thousand dollars a year instead of a thousand, um, but obviously you guys need to vote on that. Uh, we can just like, plug it in there. Um, is that a reasonable number for you? So th this is my first, and I apologize for for giving these materials late um, in preparation for this meeting, um, Ben. I'm not sure if you saw my email with the attachments, just in terms of the uh, MDAR animal inspector. Um, job uh, duties, and then also kind of the estimated hours per year. The way I feel about this is it's in a, it's similar to many other positions in this town that have been, haven't ch changed uh, in a long period of time that really were filled in roles um, where people have been very, very generous in volunteering their time historically. Uh, but really need to transition to being recognized for the work that they do. Um, you know, I think the increase isn't the end where it needs to go, but I think any change takes time. And I think a little bit of change is fine, whether it's me in that role or someone else in this next year, whoever that is. Uh, but I think any improvement that we do moving forward is important um, to make that how do individual. You, how do you feel. feel about that number? I feel like it's low personally, but I don't want it to be about me. You don't want it what? I don't want to. It's hard because I'm biased because I'm in it. So what? How uh, many? Uh, Matt, for just a second, I, I'd, I'd like to, uh, to echo uh, Dragon's uh, uh, Dragon's point. I uh, and then you know get the board can speak about it. For my part on it, I uh, you know I I do think. Uh, this is uh, Dragon has been doing this uh, for us in, in a large part charitably, uh, you know, from a pay perspective for a while. One thing I'll say, uh, just as a person in my pers in my position, if she was to ever decide to not do it, which she has every right to do, then um, I would have to find somebody to fill that role with the, this amount of money. And that would be very difficult for me to do. Uh, so even with the increase to 2000, it would be difficult for me to do. So, so uh, while I'm not going to change that today, 
uh, because it seems like Dragon, you know, really is very committed to continue to go, go going uh, going on. But I would say that the board should be aware that in the future, there's also likely to be a, another increase of some type so that if there was a situation that we needed to go outside to get somebody to provide that service, we would be able to have someone interested in doing that job just because what, of the sheer amount of it takes. What, and that's my piece. What number is that money wise? Well, the, I mean, the average here would be it's anywhere from 156 to 220 hours a year. So whatever I didn't do, I didn't get that so far in my spreadsheet. Say it's $200 a year, 200 hours a year. Yeah. $15 minimum wage. How much is that? That's three, still 3000 right? And again, today the stipend is a thousand. A thousand. So why don't we go up to three? Yeah, we have. I mean, we're t we're talking minimum wage here. We're not talking about a. Yeah, Hadley, per yeah. my my records that I have um, in the spreadsheet from the previous inspector, there's seventy farms that have to be inspected annually for um, for herd counts. Uh, I, mean, we're I a, get an average we're a farming between town. I, I, yeah. you know, if we pride ourselves on being a farming town, we need to pay somebody to do the work that needs to be done. Yeah, the animal inspector gets an average between two and five quarantine requests a month. Um, you know, I do. I'm very frequently in con communication with Don, the animal uh, control officer for that, Don Ublaker. Um, cause sometimes there's, uh, to get information from the police department to need to be able to execute those. Cause she also has a hybrid role between Hadley and Northampton. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's annual education of three hours a year, which is the one that I just did last month. So, um, that's ben, is there any that. chance that this would be part of our shared services? This has not been listed as one of the items that they would, they would do for us. No. Yeah, probably not a big need in, in Northampton. So no, it's a good I, question. I propose that we put it up to three thousand. I think I think we should whoever's doing the job, it's not it's not about dragging or right. yeah, they, they, I mean it, it it feels a little uncomfortable even just to offer a minimum wage, but I think that's as low as we should consider going. Mm -hmm. I, it just doesn't I, I don't on I I, I I, I well, I can't I, make I, sense I, of anything I, less than that. I think when it's put in in the perspective that if Dragon chooses not to do this and mm -hmm. we have to pay for the service, we need right. to cover ourselves for the right. service. And I think, you know, all we can do is ask. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I think we should increase it to an I to a at least a budget that we feel and I, I can't even speak to the minimum wage because I don't I don't know you know if other um, uh, animal inspectors would accept fifteen dollars an hour right. quite frankly so I mean should we be realistic and actually go up to I don't know twenty dollars an hour say you know yeah. uh, in, in other words go for it now and see what happens I guess I know and I don't have data um but i do know that like in greenfield their health all their inspect their health inspectors um as well as their animal control are joint animal inspectors which i they certainly don't meet minimum wage right. um and in other towns um it it really it varies there's a huge kind of span of of what is being recognized for that role just for background in our area it's there is no continuity mm -hmm. with kind of how well, it is i i would propose we put three thousand, and you know we can do some due diligence over the next year and find out what it would actually cost us and we can put that into the next year's budget but i think for this year i would put do you want to make that as a proposal as a formal do you want to make that as a proposal, we I, will vote I on do, that. Then? I want. I want. I want to know what everybody thinks about it. I don't. You know. Well, I. I'm going to abstain right you now to abstain. because of my position. Um. So, Margaret, do you want to make a motion? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean, there's a part of me that does feel though. So let's do the math. If we if we did twenty dollars per hour, and we estimated it at 
200. 200. So that's 4,000. Does that seem that's not doable in our, in, 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 does Ben have any input on that in terms of inspectors in his history? Ben, did you hear that? Yeah. So, so my, my thought on it is, uh, uh, my my only thought on it is um, um, whether we're, we'd be able to make that jump all at once. Um, that's the only thought I have on it. Um, uh, whether whether the finance committee would would be uh, find that to be reasonable. Um, I would personally, in a perfect world, I would say yes <laughs> immediately. I would say yes because that would make uh, the chances of filling that role much easier. Uh, from uh, you know getting an, a, an outside party to come in to do the job if Dragon decided not to for whatever reason. Um, that would make it a lot easier. That being mm -hmm. said, I, I do think that three grand uh, is is still, uh, you know, uh, three Perfect. times you know, what we're what we're dealing with we have right now. I, I I feel like that's a pretty good jump uh, for, uh, for today. So my thoughts oh, are four grand would make things it would get us to where we need to be. Three grand would uh, get us on the path to where we need to be. That's my opinion yeah. on it. Hey, hey, Ben, do, do you know what the animal inspector in Somerville was making? There was none in Somerville. There was no farms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, there was a lot uh, of rats kidding, there. Kidding. kidding. <laughs> well, the, the animal inspector in Holyoke is actually a full-time position, and no one would think that. That's a full time yeah. position. So, what it is. It, what, you want to uh, try? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm help, happy to do we'll the three thousand, and one. then uh, I mean, well, what hopefully I, you're not going to leave that position within I, uh, the next fiscal year. Yeah, and uh, and then we keep track of the records. You'll see really how many hours you you yeah. you are putting in. And what I would say, just historically from being on this board and just engaged in other committees in town, is that I've seen like the incremental right increases be successful um with change so that would be my personal okay. recommendation I would include in the narrative that this is an incremental when we're aiming for something else because the option exists that we might have to hire someone outside right. of yeah uh, volunteer staff type so. mm -hmm. yeah I'll, I'll change the narrative on that jane thanks for the suggestion yeah, yeah. All right, so then I make a motion that we increase the animal inspector stipend to uh, $3,000. Uh, Seconded. And all those in favor? Abstain. Okay. Yeah. And Dragon abstains. So, so, so two zero. You're not a voting member. Oh, I'm not a voting member. No. <laughs> okay. Keep that man. Oh, that's okay. Anybody, anybody gets paid. Doesn't Keep that hand back. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's so many rules. It's so hard. So, so that's basically it. Uh, again, the narrative. Uh, I don't know if everybody got a copy. Um, I like the narrative. Yeah. Okay. So Ben, ben did the... Uh, Very nice. He, mm -hmm. he took uh, some bullet points and turned them into the King's English. And so this is what will get submitted tomorrow. Uh, again, adding... Uh, uh, the language that uh, Jane has suggested in terms of the increment, uh, incremental approach to uh, the animal inspector stipend. So. The other thing I might just point out is the amount spent in five months. If you do five twelfths of your um, voted budget, you're only at $100,190. They're going to say, you haven't spent all your money, you don't need it. The town is very they want you to, if you don't spend the money, don't expect yeah. to see it. Well, okay. I, I do know that some individuals, i.e. the animal inspector, has not submitted for any of their reimbursements so far this year. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing that that might be the other area. The, the other well, part, the other part the, of this is we didn't hire the nurse till just recently. Right. Right. So that's... Yeah. I mean, so, we, need, we need that money it, for next it, it year. It is a good acid test if you say, okay, five five months out of 12. Yeah. So if you made it whole, okay, what does that add up to? Yeah. And again, to, to, to Dragon's point, she hasn't spent her invoice yet. Marcy hasn't been here the, the entire five yeah. months and so on and so forth. Um, you know, I personally did not work on budget of 10 hours a week until December. I wasn't working a full 10 hours a week with permits in December and January. Yeah. I'm working a bajillion hours a week. So um, with or without permanent. 
it again, it'll subside. So it's mm-hmm. it's uh, cyclical. Same thing with the activity with regards to Title V. Title mm-hmm. V is very busy, as you might guess. It's and it's August, right in summer. Right? You yeah. can't look at the mark there, month. There, There's nothing right there. You know, nobody's building houses in the winter. But I really appreciate that rationale because it will be really important for the meeting tomorrow, Ben. I think in terms of being able to have position statement and background. So so in totality, so we can wrap up the conversation about the budget. So if we go to, so you voted 3,000 instead of 2,000. So in totality, the request that we're making for the next fiscal year is going to be roughly 108,000, Okay against what we were approved for this year of 106. Yeah, so we're only going up $2,000. Now again, very reasonable. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I mean, it's, yeah. you, you know, you're talking less than, yeah. you know, less than, uh, you know, 5%. Now again, the COLA is not in here, but again, the COLA only affects Ben, Marcy, right. and May. Right. So well, we're not talking about gobs and gobs of money. I mean, it's not like we work for Halley Media. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if, there, if there's yeah. no other questions so let's move on yeah that's great yeah. thank you for all the work yeah, yeah. thank you thank Peter. you for both, all of no you most thank you okay. so the, the, the report from the admin assistant uh two quick things number one and again permitting um food establishments uh i would say probably the looking two thirds have renewed already, uh, which is better than last year. Right. Last year they kind of like lagged and lagged and lagged, um, and so we have more people that actually uh, use the uh, the permit permit link app this year, and they've been relatively successful in uh, paying their fees, the application fees um, online versus walking in, handing me a check. Mm-hmm. I fill out a bunch of paper. I walk upstairs to Linda Sanderson, and she yeah. then does something made it. It's automated. So for the most part, it's working. Again, there's some bumps and bruises, but again, nothing nothing to really stop anything, uh, anybody in their tracks. Um, and uh, the only other thing that uh, I had uh, that I was going to share with you, and I don't know if you saw this in the email, but we did get another... Uh, a COVID uh, test yeah. report from the DPW yep. on the wastewater. So, I just hadn't sent that out yet because I haven't looked at yeah. it myself okay. before I sent that out, but uh, but it's there. So I'll make sure tomorrow when I'm in, I'll make sure everybody gets it. Yeah, and then I'll so, post that. So I don't know if they if the tests are better or worse or the same. Well, you know, it's there. It's it's here, but last year at that time it was it's up. It's less than half of what it was. Last year, but it's on a it's mm-hmm. on an up. It's also through like December twenty eighth or something. So we we lag behind a little mm-hmm. bit in the report. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's well, the yeah. twenty eighth was last week, but I would guess, I'm hoping it's wrong, yeah. but I guess that when all the students come back from being yeah. um, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. four four weeks vacation, well, and all the holiday gatherings during the holidays. Yeah. I guess we should anticipate some yeah. somewhat of a spike. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, and this is anecdotally, it, it does feel um, that there is a lot like being experienced secondarily from holiday gatherings and then people coming back. Um, in addition to like COVID, flu, RSV, very, very predictable. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's but that's all I have. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, then that brings us to any other business that could not be Jane, any, anything that you public. want to share with us? No, nope. nope. I'm pleased to see you're organized and have your budget ready. Thank you. Sure. It's hard to do it this early, I know, but we got it down. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's because we have a great team. All right. Well, uh, can I make a motion if there's nothing else to discuss? How about we... Next meeting. Oh, next meeting. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see. go back to yes. our. Can I interrupt? You? Yes, mm-hmm. please. If, this was not a problem, but if you change the day, of the like first Thursday as opposed to the second Thursday, please check in with Violet and make sure that something's not scheduled oh, okay. in this room. Yeah. Or, we're going to go wherever. back to the second Thursday. To our second Thursday. That would make it February 8th. Yep. Okay. And I will zoom in. I will okay. We'll certainly get a zoom. And I like the 6.30 time. 
You do yeah. kind of a nice sweet spot. I, for yeah, my, I, I like it. My Jane, family. Works for you? Yeah. Are you okay, hey, Jane? Marcy? Oh, yeah. What about you, Ben? You're I'm not good driving home. You're not driving home at eight o'clock at night. So, uh, I still have my head, but I get a half an hour with you folks if you need me. More than enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next meeting is uh, February eighth. Oh yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank um, you. We're going to adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right.